Permission granted. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. Before we proceed, let us rewind a few decades. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honorable judges and guests, I am the product of a loving couple who come from two different countries with two different languages and two different customs. As a child, it was imperative that I learned the differences that would exist in my world. At home, frijolitos pintos were pinto beans at school. The same gesture had two different meanings. To look my mom in the eye, I was defiant. But not to look at my teacher in the eye, Carlos, look at me in the eye. What are you trying to hide? When we were going to eat at company, son, you will sit down and you will eat what's placed in front of you. You will ask no questions. Okay. At school, second grade, math contest. I answered three questions in a row, fast, on target. My reward? Carlos, put your head on your desk and uh, let other people respond, please. Okay. We go across the border. What are you doing here? You're one of them. I would come home. What are you doing here? You come from over there. Okay, so wh where did I belong? These two worlds inadvertently colluded to take my voice. I learned to be silent, to keep my thoughts to myself, and not to ask any questions. By the time high school came around, it was ingrained. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What do you want to do? Whatever. What do you want to eat? It doesn't matter. Professional won't get any better. I was called to translate because somebody was overheard saying, What is your name o <laughs> As I approached the man behind the counter, he said, Sir, can you please tell this kind lady that I'm not deaf? I just don't understand what she's saying. What did he say? He said, Thanks for getting a translator. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to get, you know, keep the peace in translation. Corporate world wasn't any better. Silencing continued. Welcome aboard, sir. You can't say Merry Christmas. Can't tell God bless you anybody. And don't talk about religion. Okay. Until one serendipitous meeting within the meeting. A friend and I were sharing stories. At the end of my sharing, she gave me one of the greatest gifts any human can give another. She told me, Carlos, around me, you can be who you are. Immediately, right there and then, I became reacquainted with an old, familiar friend. My voice. I was given permission to speak. And now that I have found my voice, this is what I want to say. All of us here are humans. All of us have a heart. We all have a mind, and we all have a voice. We are not a number. We are not a skin color, and we are not somebody's puppet. Wherever you find yourself in the world, that's where you belong. Life has things to teach you there. Right there, you're going to make new friends. You're going to make memories, and you're going to tell new stories. Yes. You know what else I want to say? I want to say, sir, God bless you, and you, and you, and you. Jesus loves you, and so do I. <laughs> and in the words of my friend, Jose Feliciano, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas <laughs> from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> but the most I want to do here, I want to share this gift with you. 
Perhaps you grew up in an affluent family where mom and dad were both professionals and you were expected to become one. Perhaps you were even coerced to become one. But you, in your heart, you're an artist, you're a painter, you're a singer, you're a dancer. And you've never been able to cast your own shadow because you've been living under theirs for too long. To you, sir, to you, ma'am, this is what I want to say to you. Come out. I invite you into the light. The sun is big enough for all of us. Perhaps you grew up on the opposite spectrum in abject poverty. And you were told you're the wrong skin color. You're the wrong gender. You don't have what it takes. I was told I overcame the odds. I'm here to tell you, you can too. Permission granted to you too. Perhaps you have suffered an incalculable loss or some horrid abuse and you're afraid to tell your story because you think it may be too painful or worse yet, somebody won't believe you. I want to tell you, you will find your healing in the telling of your wounds. My story will make you cry, teach us to weep. My story is hilarious, then we could all use a good old belly laugh. My story will have you seen red. Okay, let us harness the energy and we'll kick off, you and I, evil from the planet. I can't do this alone. There's an African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. Right here, right now, I invite you. The person sitting next to you, shake their hand, nudge their elbow, give them a pat on the back, and say, permission granted. Please. Now we're ready. Together, we will go far. Three, two, one. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>